Welcome back, Brick Maniacs. I'm here at the GHQ with Landon, and we are going over what's back this week on BrickMania.com. So kind of a big return, one that's been asked for quite a bit. The M1A2 Abrams main battle tank has returned to BrickMania.com. So this one's been gone for a while. A lot of people have been asking to bring it back, and here it is. Um, you guys will probably notice as well that the modern U.S. tanker is not currently online. We are hoping to have that back in stock sometime this week, so make sure to be checking back and make sure to stay tuned on social media because that's how we'll let you know when that is back on BrickMania.com. That's right. Very cool. Which one do you want to do next? Schwimmwagen? Schwimmwagen. Yeah. Next up, we have the Schwimmwagen. Um, nice kind of cool camouflage scheme going on here. Um, some texture printing on that bedroll or the kind of satchel up front with the spare tire there as well. Um, yeah. What more is there to say? You know, this, this moves up. Let's move that up. There we go. Pretty popular kit that uh, yeah. does not last long right. when it returns. I think this is already our third batch of these. Wow, so. yeah. And you have the uh, reverse drive, which mm -hmm. is just the paddles. <laughs> Apparently it doesn't go in reverse. It doesn't go in reverse in the water. No, nope, you just have to. <laughs> Come what do we got next? Yes, also we have the 4x4 utility vehicle, quarter ton. Um, so we have the actual vehicle itself, plus the canvas and trailer add-on pack back. So this is shown here with the add-on. Yeah. Uh, you need both to create this. But both of those are back in stock this week. So you can get your hands on those while they last. Very cool. Yeah, we got one more thing. Don't have a built model of this. Yep, the but... pack howitzer. Yeah. Another one that we've restocked several times and always seems to be popular whenever it comes back. So that is also available right now on BrickMania.com. So while we walk over here, a couple of quick notes. Bricking Bavaria in Germany, the first weekend of September. Make sure to catch us there if you're in the area. Also Tank Farm uh, in Virginia. And that uh, we don't know quite who's going there yet, but I think Cody is involved with that crew. So if you're in that area as well, make sure to come check out Tank Farm. Um, a couple of minifigures back, more than a couple. Yeah, we got a, it's a nice little lineup here. Of course, uh, White Death, I'll start off with that one. Uh, hugely popular minifigure. Um, that was gone in a few hours. It went really, really quick. So we have another batch through the system. Uh, some cool details. You got some snow on the boots. Um, some simulated fabric texture on that minifigure. Um, and that kind of ominous looking, that's a scary looking face right there. That, you know. If you can see it in the snow, well, you're, you know, you're gone. Yeah. Um, and then next up we have the, uh, just a standard hair soldier. Um, um, it's, a, it's a simple infantry, but the artwork here has uh, um, got a lot of cool details going on. First of all, you have that simulated um, field gray color uh, on the uniform. So I'm actually doing a little bit of color mixing with that and getting it close to that. It's got a little bit of a greenish, bluish tinge to it. Um, I'm starting with the Lego base color, that dark gray, but then I'm mixing down to a a little bit more of an accurate color. Uh, next up we have the, on here, on the helmet, there's some texture printing going on for those, um, the rivets going on there. Very cool. Yeah, an insignia on either side as well. So simple figure, but very detailed, very cool. Uh, and finally, we have the World War II German Fallschirmjäger. Um, Seamlessly pronounced, that was beautiful. Uh, did I? I don't know about that. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, sounded good to my ear. He's, he's, uh, he, looks, he looks pretty pissed off, and he's, uh, you know, he just jumped out of an airplane, right? Um, you got the paratrooper helmet, again, with some texture uh, rivets going on on top of that, with the insignia as well. It comes with the uh, FG-42, just a standard one. Um, but if you want, you can upgrade to the perfect caliber one, which is also in stock right now, while it lasts. Um, so that's a cool combination if you want to, you know, mix and match there. Going back to the figure, there's some awesome splinter camo, uh, 360 printing, um, and that's kind of that, it's that, um, it's a giant smock that they'd use to, as, as they're um, parachuting, it kind of buttons up and underneath it you have their um, uniform as well. Um, cool figure, so he's back, he's back. So before we go here, Brick Maniacs, our World War II Pacific Theater Mock Contest is wrapping up at the end of this month. Uh, in this week's new releases video, that is when we are going to reveal the prize for that, which is super cool. Uh, one of the better ones that we've given away so far in, this, in these contests, so make sure to stay tuned for that. Otherwise, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more from uh, Brick Mania TV.